Hello everybody, welcome back to the Dice Must Flow. I've got uh, a box here that was delivered and this is the expansions for Champions of Midgard from uh, Grave Fox Games from the Kickstarter. And so I'm just going to uh, open this box up and see see what all the components are, are looking like. And, and we'll go ahead and, and do an open box video. I'm not sure what's all in here or how it's packaged, I should, should say. So we have, taking a look at this, we have uh, a player board for the market stalls that they, that they added. And these are going to be the, uh, the extra characters. And they upgraded the components on those and they're nice, thick cardstock. So these are the extra um, uh, player characters that you can play. Here's your fifth player and potentially, um, uh, I guess, color if you wanted to change for uh, people that cannot, that are colorblind. Careful there. So you can see this is actually a big box that is, uh, they came where it includes both Dark Mountains and Valhalla, and it will hold your entire game. That was uh, uh, one of the things they talked about on the Kickstarter. I should mention that the two expansions, the names were Dark Mountains and Valhalla. I did do a video earlier where I talked about these. So you can see uh, the, the cover. Take a look, open it up. Here we've got the instructions for the custom meeples, extra promo cards that came in with it. And so we have a rule book for the Dark Mountains, and we have a rule book for Valhalla. Now, Valhalla added the, uh, the extra when your warriors died, they went to Valhalla, and you could get Valkyrie blessings and you would have these sacrifice tokens representing the dice of, of your warriors that died. And here uh, they have some of the blessings. And Dark Mountains really is just a, a, another travel, an overland travel, much like the travel to the sea. Uh, this set had archers. And uh, land journey cards. And another combat with a, a Burgrissard. So uh, going ahead and looking more at some of the components, you can see we have uh, different market stalls that came, uh, a different ship. These are the tokens for the Valhalla expansion representing your warriors that died. And again, these are really nice, thick uh, components, not flimsy at all. Again, you got Valhalla uh, components for the dice, representing the dice. And uh, this is, um, I guess, the, the pieces for each player character in Valhalla. Continuing on, we've got the Dark Mountain board, that, the, the fight the Burgress are. Um, I can open this up. And this is the Dark Mountain uh, ex travel, overland mountain travel board. They did offer this where you could make a one complete board as one um, um, mat in the uh, uh, Kickstarter that you could get a complete mat. If you're looking for that, you may be interested. Uh, this is the crazy ship that they came up with. Apparently, uh, this I don't even know how to pronounce it. Golan Kambi is a ship with a giant chicken. And apparently that is something out of uh, Viking lore. And so um, they were quite proud of that. So we've got extra um, cards for when you go, mission cards, I guess. And these are when you go to the, uh, the Seer, I believe it was. And these are extra... Um, I guess uh, land travel cards, the equivalent of, 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 of when you go 
uh, across the sea, you're going to have potentially a, a travel or an encounter on the land, and then like in this one, you would have to pay an extra gold for an extra die to hire a mercenary. Um, here we got more of the uh, boards for um, the player uh, characters that they added. Here were the custom meeples that they added for every color. I'll tell you what, these are really nice. You can see, and purple is the new color, black was the new color. So you can choose five of the six colors. You probably could play six player if you reduce the number of actions that everybody gets a turn. But here you can see these meeples instead of just, uh, you know, just a generic thing. All right, we have the dice here. So Champions of Midgard, hopefully you can see these. Champions of Midgard has uh, custom dice in it. And as you see here, these, these are the uh, archer dice. Very nice. The archer dice have one arrow, one archer. I'm not sure what the second symbol is with the archer with the bow there. So they have three, six, nine, twelve archer dice that they've added. And then these are the dice that they added in Valhalla. The double, double, uh, the pink dice. Our berserker dice, uh, the yellow dice, I forget what kind of warrior they were added, and the blue, uh, I think these were leadership, something to do with leadership, and we'll have to refresh myself on that as we go back and play the game and do a playthrough for you guys. In the box, we still got three more things. Can you guys see those? We got three more things. We got um, more, uh, I guess, more victory. When you go to the Mystic, you can get vic different victory cards. And these are going to be the monsters or enemies you're going to fight the Burgressars and the, um, the monsters in the Dark Mountains. Um, I think these are actually um, for, uh, I think these are actually for. The Valhalla expansion because they've got this this symbol on them, which I know are Valhalla cards. So these are probably the Dark Mountain cards, and these are probably the Valhalla cards that they've added for the different creatures you can fight. Let's try and take a quick look at some of them. And uh, zoom on in. We've got some good, pretty cool art on some of these. So you can see them. Take a quick look at the uh, the monsters from Dark Mountain. You see some Burgressars, different colored ones. If you remember in the basic game, collecting different colors gives you sets. These guys are immune to bows. Most of them are. And they give you a bow. Interesting. That's how you get your, your bow dice. You have to defeat these guys. Um, you can see these Draugrs, which would go into the thing. Different other monsters. And... Uh, so yeah, there you go. That's pretty much. That's a pretty cool one. That's pretty much it. And they uh, they did also give us a nice uh, a nice set of bags in the thing. And like I said, the box was made to hold your original game plus uh, the game tray holds the original game plus uh, all the expansion pieces. So you you have just the the basic one box. You don't have to be carrying multiple boxes. And so that's it for today. Just wanted to do this real quick since I got it. I was pretty excited. Uh, we'll try and get some gameplay of this or uh, go through the rules again. If you're interested at all in them, I'm not sure how Gray Fox Games is shipping this uh, into the stores. If it's going to be one expansion or they're sold together. 
But if you're interested in how this works, go back and take a look at my previous video on the expansions. Uh, I walked through everything that they were adding and how they were going to how they were going to affect the game. So that's it for now. Again, this is the uh, Champions of Midgard expansions by Gray Fox Games. I'm excited to get this guy open. I really enjoyed that game, this game, and I think this will add a lot to it. So that's it for now. Thanks, and have a good day.